の午後忙しいニューヨーカーたちが次々と足を止めるその視線の先にはギターを手に歌う一人のシンガー Um, it's very relaxing and very sweet, and I don't know, almost romantic. It was really good. I really liked it. I really liked it. Yes. We love it. Yes. Yes. She's gonna go far. I see. She's a future star. Susan Kegel, 26 years old. Five years ago, she left her family and moved to New York to pursue music as a career. その才能を見出したジェイが彼女に声をかける。マジカルボイス、and a beautiful glow。I heard Susan's CD first,、um, and I love this song called Touched, which is amazing. And then I went to see her at 34th Street Station. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. There was like literally 200 people. Gathered around like busy business people, and they just like stood there listening to her for like literally an hour,、um, buying CDs for ten bucks. You know, like I think she sold about a hundred CDs in you know twenty minutes. 幼い頃から家族でストリートパフォーマンスをしていたスーザン。しかし彼女が感じた音楽に対する情熱はそこにはなかった。So about four or five years ago, when I left my family, that was the first time that I was able to really enjoy the experience of performing. Because before, when I was younger, growing up doing it, it was like work for me. So then five years ago, I was like, you know what? I want to do this for fun. I want to do this because I like it. I want to go and I want to play with other people and I want to write songs and I want to do it professionally. And that's when I started getting really excited about it. Wow, you know, I can sing. I can express myself through music. I don't have to be. In this cage of like. Yes, I'm gonna show you all the my favorite spots to play, and I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about some crazy things that happened to me, like playing in the subway. <laughs> I just felt so like I wanted to do something. I wanted to connect with people. I wanted to get out there, and the easiest way to do that is in the subway because it's like an instant audience. You go just go down there and set up, and you can play right then and there. So. You know, even though it seems like a crazy venue, which it is, it's crazy, but it was convenient for me. Well, this is my main spot where I used to play with all my bands, and it's cool because it's not as loud as the other spot. It was really hard, especially in the beginning, because it's like it's kind of scary. There are so many people. You don't know. You have to fight against like other performers who are like really aggressive and mean. Most of them are really nice. But it's just scary. Like you don't know what's gonna happen. There were a couple of things that were really scary that happened, and one of them was this woman, this crazy woman, had an ice pick. She was gonna stab me in my head, and I didn't see her because she was behind me. And so all these guys grabbed her hand, like just before she was gonna hit me with it. Now I'm very happy that I don't have to, you know, be down here. I'm happy that I'm gonna be touring, doing concerts, and like nice venues. Also,、um, we're planning on releasing my album in Japan as well. So I would love to go to Japan and tour there. I've heard so much about it. A lot of my friends have been there touring, and I would love to just tour all over the world. Yeah. If you believe in yourself, then you can do it.
ヨークの地下鉄から始まった一人の女性シンガーの夢その夢が世界中へ広がろうとしている。